Uncle Robert O'Dean, guess what? They asked for it, and we're going to bring it to them right now. I got my sister Carmen up in the house. Hey, Carmen. (laughs) Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. We are so excited about uh, uh, this relationship that we're forming. So first of all, Carmen, tell everybody who you are and what you do. Of course. Um, I My name is Carmen Setnitz, and I work for the Amtrak San Juan Kings train service in the marketing department. And I'm honored to be on your show today to be able to talk about our special train that we're going to be running to the State Historic Park, um, Allensworth. Um, it's a great event. This park has four events every year, and they are usually Juneteenth, the rededication, their Jubilee, and um, a Black History Month event. And so normally we don't stop at this station. We have like a whistle stop, and it's usually just for groups only. So when we have partnered with this park and able to run our special trains, we open up all our train inventory for individual rider tickets to be sold at um, a very steep discount because it's just a hidden gem in California that a lot of people don't know about. And there's a lot of rich history there. And we wanna be able to take people there, not only car free, but um, just to this location because it really is a different world when you step off the train and walk into the park and see all the old buildings there. Wow. Colonel Allen's, Allen Allensworth's home is there, the school's there. It's just an amazing, amazing event and thing to see. Okay, so I'm going to backtrack you just a little bit because I want you to tell everybody about, you know, let's just talk about Amtrak because uh, even in my short conversation with you, I'm like saying, oh, I get on Amtrak all the time. And you say, oh, oh no, that's our sister line. So explain <laughs> to us the whole Amtrak system because, you know, most of us think that it's this one train system that runs right. across America. Right. Yes, exactly. Well, like I mentioned, we're Amtrak San Joaquin, so we run down the spine of California. So we have service from Sacramento to Bakersfield with connections over the Grapevine into LA Union Station. Um, We also have service that runs from Oakland um, through Emeryville, Richmond, Martinez, Antioch, all the way back down to Bakersfield again. And we have two other sister lines in California that are the Capital Corridors. They run from Sacramento, um, like Davis, into San Jose. And then what you might be familiar with in Southern California is the Pacific Surf Line. Yes. And that one is probably what a lot of you may have been familiar with running that service around like San Diego, Mm -hmm. L.A., along the coastline and the beach line. Yep. Now, now, am I am I missing things? Don't they all say Amtrak or because they do? So there are partners. We are JPAs. Uh So we're joint powers authorities. And what that means is we oversee, manage and market that service. So Amtrak Mm -hmm. is our partner. Mm-hmm. They provide us our onboard staff attendants who run the cafe cars. Mm-hmm. They provide us our conductors and engineers. Mm-hmm. And then we market the service and manage it and, you know, talk about events like Allensworth. Okay. Now, my last question for you, because <clears throat> I've never, you know, this is another career that I, I have not seen a lot of people of color in. How did you get involved with Amtrak? <laughs> Um, luck, <laughs> okay. just hard, hard work and, um, just looking for personally a career change and I happened to land in transportation and it was really an amazing opportunity because not only are you working in transportation with so many different partners at state levels, government levels, um, we work with Caltrans and as I mentioned, we work with National Amtrak, we work with our local government to help let the community know about our discounts for those who may not be able to afford a full price ticket. We have our friends and family discount that offers 50% off tickets. We have student discounts. So it's really great to like get out in the community on college campuses and share this information with them. And in that same vein, we actually are launching a new project called Track. And it's really focused at um, the youth in high schools who may not have 
access to resources to know like maybe college isn't an option and it's an introduction to get them involved in careers in railroad. Um, so it's a really amazing opportunity and an amazing program that we're just starting to launch. Oh, we're going to have to talk about that because both Robert and I are educators and he is actually a Hall of Fame winning track coach. And so we, we might have to tap you guys together for track. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. I can definitely share the um, the creator of the program, Tamika Smith, um, information with you later okay. and connect on working on something. It's, it's very, very new, but we're all really, really excited about launching this program to help at-risk youth you know, wow, that's discover awesome. a path if it's not traditional college. It's, hey, look at these trade schools or try mm -hmm. a career in trans transportation, especially railroad, whether it's HR, mm -hmm. marketing, or safety. Yeah. So let me let me ask this question. Now, this is really important, being that, you know, for me, um, being in school systems and working with African-American programs, mm -hmm. I knew about Allensworth. But Allensworth is really, like you said, a very hidden gem. Mm -hmm. So can you give us a little history about Allensworth <laughs> and why it's so important for our history in California? Certainly. I will do my best. I, I am not I don't work with the Friends of Allensworth. That is the, the mm -hmm. program, an organization that really is very heavily involved in keeping the State Historic Park alive and that rich history alive and getting it out there to folks. Um, but Colonel Allensworth, you know, started this township, one of the first um, all black townships in California. Mm -hmm. And it was basically a utopia for black families to uh, progress and thrive um, educationally economically in peace. Um, and he was founding this township with a few other Buffalo soldiers because they also played a heavy role in this township and um, making this dream come alive. And, you know, as time progressed, this town unfortunately suffered because the railroad was moved, the water was turning bad. And so it was really them trying to kind of push them out and not let this community thrive. Mm -hmm. So, and a lot of people may not know, Colonel Allen Allensworth was born into slavery mm -hmm. and, you know, got out of that and became, joined the military, became a chaplain. You know, he really, really pushed through a lot of adverse, adversity and became, you know, he, he started his own town. That's a huge, huge wow. thing, especially yeah. in Black history. That's history. And, yeah. Exactly. And a lot of people don't know about it. I personally wow. didn't know about Allensworth until I started working with the San Joint Joint Power Authority and working for the train. And I am blown away at how amazing this township is and all the history there is to learn about it. It's it's really an amazing thing to go and see. So so let's just talk about this partnership <laughs> and how everybody who would like to come this Saturday are there still tickets available? If I wanted to come from San Diego uh, and hop on the train, you know, because, uh, you know, some people be bred in the drive, but I'm like saying, I want to get on the train and, and roll up to the township and say, yes. we back. Yes. So <laughs> how can people uh, engage and, and come out and uh, where do they get tickets? What do they do? Oh, certainly. Well, they can definitely visit AmtrackSanJoaquins.com and they can just hit our Book It Now button and type in their destination that they're leaving from and to where they want to go, which would be um, Allensworth. Mm -hmm. And it'll pull up all the different train numbers, the train times that would be heading northbound from San Diego or L.A. Mm -hmm. And those train numbers would be um, off the top of my head, 715, 719, 713, and 715. But if you're maybe coming from San Diego, there might be a little bit of, you know, transfers there okay. from Pacific Surfliner, you know, onto our service. Okay, so so, so here, here I'm going to ask a question. <laughs> uh, I'm in Allensworth. If, if I miss a train, is going to be another train coming or I'm going to have to stay tonight? And can you stay tonight in Allensworth? Actually, if you, you can, yes. But that's if you, you know, they have campsites and I believe RV hookups. So if you decide to take a road trip on your with your family or your friends, um, 
you can definitely take a camper or camp out there. And I believe they have campsites, which is really awesome. Wow. Um, we have someone that we work with. His name is David Trooper Jones. He's a Buffalo Soldier reenactor, and he's there at the event. Mm -hmm. He brings his horse. He's in head-to-toe garb. Mm -hmm. It's so amazing. He actually, during the cooler months, I think um, – rededication in October, he actually takes his horse trailer out there and stays overnight. Mm. Um, just because it's easier, I, to my understanding, the logistics of having to haul a horse and set it up. So yeah, you can stay out there. Because yeah, you because you know we, we like to come in a big way. And you know how people come to a family reunion and say, well, okay, so what, what, what house we staying in? <laughs> well, we here now. <laughs> Oh my God, that is exactly what this event is like. That's how I sum it up to everybody. I'm like, it's like being at a huge family event because there's live entertainment, there's vendors, there's food trucks, it, and it's just all positive vibes. It's, that's but that's awesome. how I describe that vibe to people. Not only is it rich in history, but the people there hmm. are also rich in history. And it is like being at a giant family reunion. Mm -hmm. It is exactly like that. Well, exactly well like that. we really want people to come out to this. I know that it might seem like this is last minute, but, you know, if, if we said that Beyonce was coming to town, everybody <laughs> would like say, oh, she coming what, sir? We got a ticket. Yes, so, you I know, we, we, we do the last minute things, but this is history. And Robert O'Dean, being that you are, you matriculated from an HBCU yes, college, mm -hmm. we don't really have HBCUs in California. We don't have any. So because of that, mm -hmm. this is kind of like the living history. I think it's awesome. Um, and I believe that uh, when I used to uh, participate and see different things, uh, there are celebrities that come out. There's politicians that come mm -hmm. out. But it is a place that if you've never been into a historical site. Now, here in San Diego, we have Old Town, mm -hmm. you know, and that's historical in San Diego. But then you say, wait a minute, there's a black township that was founded in California? Yeah. You know, and this is right up the road, and we can get on the uh, train. Now, the train, what I love about the train is, and, you know, Robert and I, Dean and I you travel can all nap. over. You can yeah. take a good nap. Yeah. But we travel all over the world, and we do a lot of different things. But when you get on the train, uh, I used to drive to L.A. all the time. Mm. Now, now I just get on. The, uh, we got to go to L.A.? Uh, uh, train and Uber, please. You know. Yep. <laughs> uh, Uber? Exactly. Yeah. And it's amazing because on the train, there's a lot of people don't know there's free Wi-Fi available. Uh -huh. You have don't have a middle seat. You can get up and walk around and stretch your legs. Mm -hmm. You can look out at the beautiful ocean views, or if you're on the San Joaquin's agricultural views, or if you're on Capitol Corridors, the Bay View. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you can go get a snack at the cafe or, or an alcoholic beverage if mm -hmm. you're of age. You know, mm -hmm. so it's really, really nice. And you get to play games or socialize or watch Netflix if you like. So yeah. there's a lot of great benefits. And plus, given that gas is so high now mm -hmm. it's really it's it's kind of nice on the wallet as well because yeah. we do have so many discounts available and, and you know you awesome. know how we say discount is our middle name yeah so sir. <laughs> when you go on to the uh on to the site will they show discounts or do you have that special are there those special codes that you need to know yes yeah, so if you go onto our website you'll see also like a promotions tab and you'd click on that and it'll show you and give you information about that discount, whether it's students, seniors, veterans, friends and family. And it will give you our discount code, which, for example, our friends and family that we have going for Allensworth is V302. And so you will put that discount code in your booking page when you're buying your ticket. And it'll prompt you. Well, I am very, very excited about this, Allen Worth. This, there's four times a year you said that uh, they, they're doing events at Allen's Worth. Mm -hmm. If you can't make it this Saturday, which we would love for you to do, we want you to make sure that you tune in, go to their website, check out uh, uh, the Amtrak sites, and 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 plan a trip. You know, plan I a think trip. It's great for the family. Yeah, and this is important because, like she said, this is a whistle stop. This is not normally the stop of the mm -mm. train, but when they have these special events, they mm -hmm. have a whistle stop and they come to these uh, to Allensworth, Places. and mm -hmm. that is amazing. And and here's the amazing thing about it, is that when you are a black township in such a large corporate entity, says that you your presence is so valuable that we want to partner with you and make sure that people get to see and to learn and to experience. experience. Yes. Yeah. And so Carmen, uh, you, you, you sister Carmen now, well, you're going to be our friend. 
Uh, anytime that you need to come and, and share these new things, let's get a plan in place because this is valuable to not just us as older people. You know, I tell people I'm senior now because I'm 57, praise the Lord. But um, for us to be able to show our young people the great history of African Americans here in California. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, there you have it. Uh, 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 Carmen, say your last thing because I want to make sure I don't, because, you know, <laughs> I was going to say something else. I said, oh, I'm not going to say that. Okay. So, say your last name for me. So my last name is Setness. Okay. Now, see, you, I was going to say it that way. And uh, because on um, on uh, one of the NCIS shows, they, they would like say, we we, we got to call Setness. You know, uh, and she like the, the head of... Um, uh, uh, the military and all the other things. She's like Secretary of State or something, or Secretary. And, and I'm like saying, but if I say Carmen said this, she's going to be like saying, she's like, that ain't it, but thank you for, for saying that because, you know, your name has prestige all over the world, especially on TV. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you coming in early this morning. The listeners are tuning in. Uh, we got social media going. We hope that we'll see a big turnout and people will come out. This is the Allensworth special trip with Amtrak. Y'all want to check it out. If you want more information, they can go where? Amtrak San Joaquin's.com. There you go. Right here on GOD Radio 1. We're going to get back.